Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We are doing your twin flame reading. So let's begin. So this reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. If this reading does not resonate for you, you can always check out the readings for your other signs. It might resonate from there. Okay, Pisces, your overall energy for this reading is the, the Judgment card. You know, I did a pre-shuffle for you, and this actually came out as your main energy as well. So, <laughs> Judgment card, a card of second chances. You could be separated from your twin flame as of the moment. You have the Eight of Wands, the Five of Swords, and then the five of cups okay the two of cups the lovers and then my gosh those two wanted to come out so let's let them out okay Your overall challenge for this month, the world. I'm hearing you've actually moved on. You've accepted that you cannot be with your twin flame. You cannot be in union with your twin flame in this lifetime. But your twin flame, on the other hand, cannot accept this closing of the cycle. We cannot accept this closing of the cycle. Let me adjust this a little bit. You have the judgment card. This is my card of second chances. There's a chance here where your twin flame would want to come back and renew their love. Offer you. I'm hearing, can we make this work? Can we try again? But it's all up to you, Pisces. It's really all up to you. Whether or not you want to give this person another chance, go ahead. You can always work on it. But do know that it will take a lot of work. But your person is really asking if you can have a second chance with them. There's going to be a lot of passionate, you know, a lot of passionate exchanges of messages. Passionate exchanges of messages. Uh, there's going to be a lot of messages coming in, very passionate, really expressing how they feel. They feel that now they realize that, hey, this person was my twin flame. You've acknowledged it way before, Pisces. You knew this was your twin flame. I'm actually seeing your research about it. But sadly, this person did not acknowledge that. I'm hearing this person was very selfish. Very selfish. But now they realize they should have acknowledged it before. There is a missed opportunity here. For some reason, I am getting that energy. This person is really going to come in and express how they really feel about you. How, they, how much they love you, how much they feel for you, how deeply they feel for you. But you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing you sighing. 
really tired really really tired again twin flame twin flame union definitely this person was in a very selfish energy and will come in, in a ver at the very selfish energy this person hasn't grown up yet they're still in their very selfish ways I'm sorry to tell you. You're still in their very selfish ways. Very lustful. Very lustful. Although this person knows that this is a twin flame connection, still there is a lot of lust. Well, very lu lustful. If you could see the male here is looking at the 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 woman's body and the the woman is looking up in the heavens at, at spirit but this is a twin flame union definitely of course this is a twin twin flame read there's a lot of disappointment here I think Pisces, you understand that this person broke your heart a lot, very much. I he I really see the pain. Used a lot, of, used sex a lot. I'm hearing this person was very much into sex. Could have addictions here. There's no devil card here, but very much devil energy when I touch it. For some reason, it's the Ace of Wands that's very phallic the wand is a ph is phallic so there was a lot of sex here a lot of sex so your person was in a very different energy as you and you found out that it was all about sex and it really disappointed you it really broke your heart. It really made you sad. You know, you feel that you've wasted so many things for this person. You... You wasted so many things with your person that you forgot that there were other other people who offered you cups of love. But the cups of love that you offered to your person were just spilled. It was all about sex for this person. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. Let me pull a card. I want to pull a card for that. I just want to know. I just want to know. Okay. You were pretty much dealing with a Libra or any air sign. Had a lot of secrets. Actually felt I actually feel that this person kept you in the shadows. Not really in their world. This could be a third party situation. Could be a third party situation, but you know, take it how it resonates. I'm sorry, I was just I'm just very nosy right now just very nosy but this person really broke your heart okay let's see final outcome overall outcome mm -hmm. Overall, it comes a tower, 
the five of wands and then the devil there's still a lot of obsession here very immature energy very immature energy all right um i'm hearing this person is very conflicted very conflicted if they want to come towards you there's gonna there's something that's going to happen that's really gonna make them decide whether or not they want to come towards you make you an offer But they're still coming in an ener to you in an energy of the devil. So very unhealthy, very toxic energy. Obsessive. Let's see some advice. Advice here is the Empress, the Two of Wands, and then the Four of Cups. So the advice here, really this is two, three, and four. <laughs> okay, the advice here is the Empress. So understand self-worth. Come back to your center. Come back to realizing who you are, Pisces. You are an Empress. You are an empress. You are the queen of all queens. And man, do people love you. People are magnetized towards you. You can get anything and anyone you want. You're that magnetic. Okay? Might not be with your twin flame, but you can get a soulmate. You can manifest anything you want, Pisces. For the Four of Cups, you can manifest anything you want. Okay? And then the Two of the two of Wands. You have to decide whether or not you want to leave this union. You have to decide. That's a big decision. And once you make that decision, you can never change it. You can never change it back. You know, you could be dealing with a Libra for some reason. This keeps coming out. The Empress card is a Libran energy. Take it how it resonates. There's, there's a lot of air here. Or you could be dealing with the Sag. Or you could have that. Plus, the Lover's card is Gemini energy. So, air energy. A lot of air. Could be dealing with an air sign, I mean. Let's see some Oracle cards. You have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Hmm. And then, what aspect of love do you need to focus on? For some of you, you could be dealing with finances and career. We'll take the one that flipped. All right, you have evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. Evolution. And then lastly, here is my Angel Answers Oracle deck. If you have a specific question in mind, you can ask it right now. I'm going to shuffle it. It might, you know, it answers either a definite yes or no, a timeline or something else that you should be focusing on. So let's see. Okay. You have the situation will improve. The bottom of the deck is success. So, but whatever the question is in your head, the situation, the answer is the situation will improve. Situation will improve. So, I hope something in the reading resonated, Pisces. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Give a comment down below how it resonated for you. 
And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. I love you all. Thank you so much and stay blessed.